I began sculpting when a friend of mine, who just emigrated from South Africa, wanted to study sculpting, but felt she was too shy to go alone. I said, okay, Anne, I will go, but when you feel comfortable, I will quit. The rest is my history. She quit and I became obsessed with sculpting, just as I had done with dancing. And that began my sculpting career. We went to Valley College to learn to sculpt in clay, then to Every Woman's Village to study with Bernice Schachter, also working in clay, and then on to Northridge College. For several years, I flew to Scottsdale, Arizona to go to Scottsdale Artist School to take one week hands-on workshops with well-known sculptors and artists. I learned more in one week than I did in a college semester. When I felt I learned enough about building clay and firing them to a permanent sculptural piece, I decided to expand my knowledge and learn to carve marble. I joined a workshop with my teacher, Bernice Schachter, who took students in summer to Italy to learn to carve marble. We went to a city called Pietrosate in Tuscany, Italy. Pietro Santa means saint stone, and it is where Michelangelo carved his magnificent sculptures with Carrera marble. Sculptors come to Pietro Santa from all over the world to work there. I went with Bernice that year and learned much, fell in love with carving and the town. The second year, I joined Pasquale, an Italian teacher, to learn more about carving. When you work with marble or any other stone, you're doing something different. You take this block of stone, which has no form or shape, and you begin to work out your idea, something that you see in your creative mind. And as it begins to come to life, you get more and more and more attached to the stone itself. And when it's finished, you have an emotional attachment to this material or this creation that you've had, and a sense of satisfaction that you can't get with any other kind of material. I was able to get into a small foundry called Biani and Kashia, and there they taught me everything. They allowed me to work in the foundry. I did the wax making and the process of doing the molds and the process of pouring the bronze. I didn't pour it myself, they did, but to be able to see how it is created and how everything came to life in the bronze making. For my bronze work, I changed to a much larger foundry called Mariani, where I had my larger sculptures done. The flat people, entwined. And the Maltese falcon.
I arrived in Las Vegas for the very first time with the June Taylor Dancers starring Jimmy Durante. Jimmy Durante was a really, really nice guy. And the June Taylor Dancers were very well known at that time. After a 30-day successful engagement, Don Arden, the choreographer for the Desert Inn Dancers, asked me if I would like to remain in Las Vegas being part of the eight girl chorus line. Of course, I said yes. famous nightclub in Los Angeles. I worked there in the play Music Man with Van Johnson. And then I worked there again with Donald O'Connor. I did three dance numbers in his nightclub act. When the act closed at the Coconut Grove, we took the act to the Americana Hotel in New York City, where we presented it every night at 11.30, so all the stars from Broadway could come over and see us. It was fantastic. Magical.
I am to have lived a long life and still be able to do what I love and be happy 